on airplane mode. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Camera's good? Yeah. Probably good. Sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to open it up for questions for Langston Patterson. Yeah, Langston, what was just kind of that emphasis and focus during the bye week after Coach Lee kind of said that he was disgusted by the way the end of the South Carolina game went? Yeah, um, surely we didn't finish out the South Carolina game like we wanted. Um, you know, there wasn't that focus at the end of the game that we wanted. Uh, there was mental errors that led to big touchdowns and stuff like that. But overall, we never quit. Um, we kept run to the ball with total effort every play. And there, there wasn't a lack of effort there. It was just a lack of focus at the end. Um, that's kind of what we talked about in the beginning of the week. So really just getting dialed into uh, our details and our execution of the play, snap in, snap out. And last week, we really got a chance to focus on that um, every day as we just came out and really got dialed into like our execution and uh, being one of, being 111 of the defense for us. And then also on offense, just doing your job. Um, and the, the opportunities will be there for us um, at the end of the day. So really just getting dialed in. And then it was very beneficial to get a jump start on UT um, going into Monday. Usually that's our day where we break down what they're all about and really just uh, hone into the details of that game. But, you know, we were able to do that on Wednesday of last week. So really coming out Monday, yesterday, we already knew um, we we're able to get dialed in earlier. Um, so we got a fresh start off to the week and we we're able to start fast this week. Um, tomorrow being third down day and just, you know, we got first and second down pretty down this week. So excited to see what happens Saturday. Uh, you had a good game against Ole Miss and Tennessee is another team that runs kind of that up-tempo style. Is there anything you, that, that you might be able to carry over, you know, into this week from, from your past performances? Yeah, it's just kind of doing your job. Um, you know, Ole Miss had me kind of out in an apex a lot or just kind of an overhang player. And so... Everyone was just able to do their job, and some of the plays just funneled to me. We always laugh uh, in the linebacker room about how the defense is made for the anchor and the wheel, um, just because the plays seem to, you know, if everyone does their job, the plays are de designed to jump cut to the edge. So um, really, it's just doing my job uh, each and every snap. And then when the plays are there, just being able to make them and being able to get these backs down, because uh, they're, they're some of the best backs that we've seen so far. Uh, and so just down into the keys and down into the design of the defense, um, you know, we'll bring, bring the plays to um, just doing the job. Their running backs, uh, are they kind of similar or do you have to make sure who's back there? Uh, 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 are, do they have enough differences that you have to make sure of who's back there before the ball's handed off? Um, I'd say they all kind of have the same running attack, you know. Uh, Zero likes to hit more of the jump cuts and kind of the cutbacks and, um, you know, two likes to hit more downhill and front side. So it's just kind of being alert and knowing who's back there really. But I feel like they all kind of have somewhat of the same running style and somewhat of the same speed. And they use their backs very similar, similar like every one of them. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, you know, there's some talk that they might yeah, switch quarterbacks this week at Tennessee. How are you preparing for the potential of that? Uh, yeah, we really just dial in to what uh, we need to do to beat them. And if they switch quarterbacks, they switch quarterbacks, and we attack them the same way that we plan it on. Milton struggled in the deep pass game and just some of those over-the-middle passes. So just new quarterback, you know, I'd assume it'd be a freshman. So uh, just if he got in there, make him uncomfortable and not let him get settled in um, would be big. And really it's just kind of – getting those quarterbacks off their keys and off their mark and, uh, you know, with our D-line getting great pressure and whoever's back there, it doesn't matter. We're just going to go out in full speed. You know, a lot of guys on their team, I can't recall if they have anyone from CPA, but like Arion Carter, uh, Elijah Herring. And some other guys yeah, I played against some of those guys, Caleb Herring, Elijah Herring. Uh, Caleb Williams actually went to CPA. He's a linebacker there. Um, I know a couple guys on there. Uh, a couple of them went to Lipscomb. Um, so... You know, it's fun to play against guys you played against in high school, certainly, but we're really just dialed into, uh, you know, overall not focusing on our opponent, just focusing on us. Being a Nashville native, though, uh, did you grow up rooting for Vandy or Tennessee, or uh, how did that situ how did, who, who did you root for growing up? Uh, my dad actually played football at Alabama, so we've always kind of not uh, liked the Vols around our house, so we, you know, kind of grew up with that hatred for the Vols, but... Uh, <laughs> 
you know, it's kind of carried on to here, but uh, just excited to go out and play somebody that, uh, you know, I haven't, haven't loved over the years.